I actually don't even know how to start this video off. But hi everyone, my name is Jaden aka Baby J. For those who are new here, I will be showing a transformation. During this time in my life, I was in a very, very, just a bad place mentally, physically, and emotionally. I was not feeling supported. I was not feeling, I wasn't feeling like myself. I was just really going through it and it was showing up on me physically. I was in a relationship and also on top of that, everything that could be going wrong was going wrong in my opinion. I basically told myself that I wanted to change. I feel like a lot of people show the success, but they don't really show the struggle period. I feel like my struggle period could definitely help somebody else i don't know her anymore but she is a very important part of my life she is the reason i'm definitely going to become exactly who i want to become if you're in your struggle period right now that person is going to be the reason you reach all of your dreams and i've decided that what i want is not negotiable so here is my struggle period i look really rough don't come for me do not come for me okay i know that i'm gonna get there because of her so let me introduce you to who I used to be. I don't think there's any worse feeling than not liking yourself. I can go into detail exactly about how I got here and I might do that in a different video, but I don't wanna make any excuses in this one. I just wanna show me trying to do and get better. In these clips, you will see me trying to make the beginning of what's supposed to be this exact video. But I was in low energy. I was struggling to like my appearance at the time. I had no confidence and in all honesty, I didn't even wanna make this video. But I knew I had to start because if I didn't, I knew I never would. I can show you better than I can tell you. So here's what I mean. You can see it. Through my makeup and it's, it's hideous. So my skincare. Hey everyone, it's. My skin is tripping, tripping. You'll see in other clips that I will insert into this video. It's embarrassing, but really everybody gets acne. Okay, so this is day one and that's basically it. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys at the finish line, I guess. I don't know. The way God tries to get you to elevate be a lot. Like, Lord Jesus, why? Um, my personal life was in shambles. My boundaries were being crossed because I was always the type of person to put other people's needs in front of my own. I ended a relationship. Someone close to me passed away. I was losing friends left and right. My home life wasn't it. So I knew it was time for a change. I started drinking more water. I started eating right. I started exercising. I started meditating. I started stretching. And slowly but surely, everything started to change. You don't have the body you always wanted to. You gonna be bomb.com. So in order to make this video really count, in order to make this, this video really pop, I decided I needed to include as many details as I possibly could. I would record myself constantly, consistently, to show my progress, to show any differences. Learning that skincare starts on the inside outwards changed a lot about my journey. The skin is the largest organ in the body, so when you think about it, it really makes a lot of sense. So when I realized that I wanted to change my skin, I realized I had to change a lot of my unhealthy habits as well. And then it became more about an all around glow up than just about my skin. So I knew that the first thing I needed in order for me to stay on this journey and want to continue to do it was motivation. And if I didn't have any motivation, I definitely was not going to make it to where I wanted to be. I was not going to make it to my goal. So I started changing the way that I talked to myself. I used to put myself down. I used to make little jokes about myself. And it was very, it was giving very self-sabotage. And I just was not feeling that. So I started lifting myself up and I started doing things that made me happy. I started saying self-affirmations. I started giving myself the benefit of the doubt. I started giving myself a lot more room to make mistakes and understanding that the mistakes are a part of the process. And it started to change me and it started to give me that motivation I needed to continue with my momentum towards what I wanted to do. Of course, there were days when I just would feel like I really don't want to do this, but eventually, those days became few and few between. 
so the next part of this was the research part and this was the longest and hardest and most annoying part of this process honestly because it included a lot of trial and error there were certain products that would set me back and break my my skin out because i didn't do the proper research or my skin didn't react the way that i thought it would or there were things that would dry my skin out too much or things that would make my skin still oily and, and give me more breakouts and and give me more dark spots so it was a really stressful hard time but i think research is partly honestly the most important part of the entire process because everybody's skin is different and everybody reacts differently to different things and your skin is specific to you as a person and to your body so everything you put on your skin is definitely not going to affect you the same way for example the indian clay mask ended up burning my skin and i didn't think that my skin was sensitive as all, at all but i ended up burning my skin because for one i didn't do the proper research and i kept it on too long and for two i kind of have sensitive skin it's not too sensitive but it, it is sensitive what actually started this whole process for me i did not like the way my skin was looking and then i looked up one day and actually realized i didn't really like my body anymore either so that kind of put me on the path to starting my fitness journey as well. I was working on my confidence and I was working on what I was eating. I didn't really show that, but you can definitely see a difference as time goes by, especially in my lower chin area um, as I lose weight in my face. I gave myself like a year, I think, yeah, a year to achieve my goal because I know anything worth achieving takes time. This is the most time I've ever put into a video and I'm very proud of myself. Not only because I was working on myself physically, but as you watch the video, you can definitely see my mentality start to slowly change. I slowly start to come back into who I am as a person, which is a very silly, happy, go lucky person. That's just who I am. While I was at my lowest point in my most oppressive state, I was not moving a lot. I wasn't being active. And I wasn't paying attention to my gut health. And I don't know if you guys know about gut health, but gut health has an overall impact on your health in general. And it can affect your skin a lot. My skin was getting better, but I was still having random breakouts here and there. And I knew I was still missing something. So I started paying attention to what I was eating and I started paying attention to how much I was moving. I, I made sure to be consistent with being active. So I started trying new fun activities and, and new things that I could do outside so that I wasn't just sitting in the same spot. I learned that moving can help with digestion, which can help get all that unhealthy bacteria that might be gathering in your intestines or gathering in your stomach. It can get it out of your body so that your skin can flourish even more. And so that's what I did. I started eating like a rabbit and my skin started to get better. I actually lost like over 20 pounds. I lost all my acne and then I also started to believe in myself. So um, that's who you see right now on the screen, okay? I was doing a lot of wishing. I wasn't doing a lot of doing. And I felt like that was a big part of my problem. I wished that I could do this. I wished that I could do that, but I didn't actually ever really do it. I began to realize that this journey meant way more than just fixing my skin or losing weight. It was a journey about rediscovering who I was, rediscovering myself, and it was a journey about working on my mental health and my emotional health and getting back to me. One of the most important things to me when I meet someone, it's not what they wear, it's not about how much money they have, it's not about how they look. I'm always way more interested in who they are as a person. That's always the most important detail at the end of the day, especially when you're at your lowest point and you need that person. But me not liking who I am and not liking the fact that I was constantly putting myself down and being hard on myself and not giving myself the benefit of the doubt, it was draining me and I felt myself wanting to give up. And to me, that's one of my biggest fears, giving up on myself because that is when your world stops. The hardest part about this journey was starting. Because when you start, you have to keep going, even on those days when you don't want to, even on those days when you feel like what you're doing isn't having any impact. That feeling sucks, but remembering that every building started with that first brick. You just have to remember that all that success started 
at the beginning, the empty beginning. The purpose of this wasn't to like my physical appearance. It was about finding myself after I lost myself because of situations that I have been going through or have went through. I don't think that any situation should have the ability to take away the power that we all naturally have. And it was about if I want something, then I can get it. It's within my reach. I just have to work for it. And it was also about starting something and not giving up on myself because the ultimate act of self-love is being patient with yourself and giving yourself time and room to grow and and time to fail and, and try again and try again and do it as many times as you need to until you you reach where you want to be and until you reach your goal and me not giving up on myself was the best gift that I think I can give to me. This journey began December 28th, 2019, and I believe it's still ongoing because there's always a new goal to reach. There's always more potential to tap into. I don't think that the journey really ever ends. It just evolves and a new one begins. These clips are actually really hard for me to see because I know what I was going through mentally. So to see me like that it, it's actually really hard for me to watch. I was doing a lot of living in my past and I was also doing a lot of living in made up scenarios of the future. I know that during this time I literally would sit and like wish. None of that ever helped. When you are thinking about changing your life the best thing for you to do is to do it and not just sit around and think about it, talk about it, go do it. Nobody ever really shows the struggle and I feel like the struggle is the most important part because that is what helps you decide which path you're going to choose where you want to go what you want to do and how you're going to handle it and it, it really helps you step into who you're supposed to be in life for sure this part of my life definitely helped me become who i am today and who i'm going to become in my future this is a video about my skin transforming but I am actually not going to be giving all of the details on how I changed my skin until my next video on my skin because I feel like that needs a whole separate video because there wasn't one specific thing that I did. There were a lot of different things that I did for my skin. So if you guys would like that video, make sure you give this video a like and hit that subscribe button also give this video a comment and tell me exactly what you guys would like me to tell you about how I got my skin to the way it is today from how it was I just want to include that this is the most recent video of my skin a very clear um, just to give you guys a hint on my skin routine it includes sunscreen but anyways I want to thank you guys for watching my video today I hope my message reached you and I hope to see you guys next time